Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Christine of Side Street Market and today's haul, flea market haul. We love the flea market hauls. I love going to my flea market. I always find great stuff. I got, I think about 30 items. So my favorite find of the day was this. It is a vintage Snoopy and Woodcock, 1958-1966 United Feature Syndicate rotary phone and the lady says it still works it has the jack with it the cords are pretty gross the piece is pretty it needs to be cleaned up but twenty dollars was not bad for this and i see the solds going anywhere from 80 to over a hundred dollars on these so i think that that was a pretty solid investment i'll kind of watch and see how they go once it's cleaned up maybe as the stock depletes a bit on ebay that's when I'll post mine because you know it's supply and demand. The next set of items I got was from the vendor Joe. And Joe is one of the vendors I like to buy from pretty often at the flea market. And uh, I'm a little out of breath today, guys. I apologize. I'm just getting back into the swing of making videos and I've been running around and it's like 80 degrees out and gathering up stuff. So. I got some ephemera. Now he said that these he believes are the complete sets. I'm gonna have to check, but it's American Modeler, the Model Aviation Magazine. So I paid $10 per stack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10. So about a dollar a piece for these. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna see what they're selling for, whether I piece them out one, like, $5 a magazine, or if I do like a whole set, I had a whole bunch of cooking magazines and I did those for about like $30 a subscription year and those sold for me on uh, eBay and Etsy. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, just something different for people who like model airplanes or about airplanes. This was another set. This guy looks pretty spiffy. And then they have like the old ads in the back. So that's May. So these were 50 cents each originally. So only that top one looks like it's got some damage. The rest of these look like they're pretty much okay. So yeah, it's just all these model airplanes. This one's kind of interesting. Yep, they're all in pretty. So it's just that top and bottom one that were kind of in a little bit of rough condition. So I'll keep all those together. And what's nice is they don't really have a smell. Sometimes you get old ephemera and it's got a smell to it. So I'm definitely gonna get this cord off to help protect the paper so it doesn't break. So those were my first two items. We'll grab a second cart here. Cart system, cart system. Okay. So I have started looking for, this is just a semi be on the lookout. I'm finding, I think they're coming back. So I was a baby of the eighties and a teenager of the nineties and my sisters were the seventies. So I had like all that stuff in my house growing up. And do you guys remember the fabric covered jewelry boxes? Um, I picked this up. I think this cost me $10. What was it? I think I paid 50 for 10 items. So am I been $10? No. 10 items for 50. $5 an item. I promise guys, my math will get there. So I, um, in one of my 2021 videos, I had a Goodwill haul where I got in a bag lot of uh, jewelry boxes and I bought them because I said I was interested in this heart shaped one that was fabric covered. And that actually ended up selling to South Korea from my Etsy shop. So this is five and it works. It's in beautiful condition. I mean, it's a little stiff. The hinges are a little old, but I might list this $25, 25 to $30 because it's a bigger size. The fabric's in beautiful condition. There's a little bit of hazing to the mirror from age. I don't know if that's just condensation from being in my garage and coming in the house. Hello everyone. But yeah, so these are kind of popular right now with people who are loving like the 80s and the 90s items. So that's a good catch. 
Then for my eBay shop, I got a set of these four wood kitty cats. Now here in Florida in uh, the Daytona area, you can go to most tourist, um, <clears throat> tourist traps, gift shops, and they have all that kind of like primitive, rustic art, the wood carved cats, the tiki cats and all that. That's huge in Florida. But what I liked was this was a set of four and they are all in great condition. So I would sell these as a set on eBay or Etsy, made in Indonesia. They have an Indonesia sticker and I needed to look up what these are selling for. Cause if these cost me $5, I might just put them at 25 for the set. I don't know if I'd go 30. I don't know how popular they are. These would not be in Etsy. These would be in eBay cause they're more contemporary. But I would just label them as, and this one looks like it might have a repair. I see partial cracks across the tails on two of them, but it doesn't look like it goes all the way through. They're just like, yeah, they're, it's just a, a crack in the paper mache, but um, I will, I would leave the, uh, label these as like a primitive folk art wooden cat figurines. Um, multicolors or something like that. And I think that these would do well on there. If I had the space, I'd keep them, but my cats love to knock things over and these tails would not survive in my house. And they're light. They're probably like a couple of ounces each. It's still gonna be over a pound to ship them all, but it was nice to find a set. And then I picked this up, which is just a, a simple glass cat paperweight. Cause I love the cats. It does have a little bit of the Bella Conti bubbles in there. You can see it kind of towards the bottom. I don't think it's hand blown or anything like that. It does have a polished bottom. It feels like it's it's got seams, so it's more of like a formed one. If I'm saying things wrong, I apologize, guys. But, and I'm hoping you're gonna find the quality of my haul videos are better this year in terms of picture because I got a new phone. So I now have an iPhone I'm filming on. So I'm hoping we'll have some better resolution going on. So we got those. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Everything's all mixed in. It doesn't matter. But these guys were about $5 each too. So next I got these. And what drew me to them is they are that great minty color. They've got that beautiful satin kind of finish. So I feel like they're a good brand. They are not marked. I want to say maybe they are a Roseville or a Hole or a Hall. The coloring and style reminds me of that, but I need to look it up. But if you in the chat have an idea of what these might be, they do have some minor striations for the flower petals. But I thought for $5, that was a cute find. So I picked those up. And then I had not seen one like this before. This is a heavy ceramic base, okay? And it, it does not have a maker's mark, but look guys, it's a flower frog. It is a flower frog. It would help if I put it on right. There we go. And I've not seen something like that before. So I thought that was pretty cool. Again, $5. I don't think that's a bad bargain. So I picked that up. Or you could put pens in here, I suppose, but I thought it'd be cute for a flower frog, like a flower holder. And then I'm gonna need your help. I got this. I know it's missing something. I don't know what it's missing. I feel like maybe it had a bowl or something with it, but it's in perfect condition. And it reminds me of the um, Dachshund dresser caddies. So I don't know like if your wallet would go here and you just stick your keys down there or you could hang your wallet, your like watch on it. I haven't had a chance to Google all this stuff yet. So if I have by the time this premieres, I'll let you guys know, but let me know what you think in the chat this was for. I almost left it and it says R on it. You see a little R for like the collar. So at first I was like, oh, does that mean there's a left and a right? But I think that that was like Maybe the dog's name like Rufus or Reggie or, you know, something. There is just a little smear of under the glaze right there. It's a heavier ceramic. But I'm not, I've never seen anything like this. So $5. I picked it up. I'm curious to find out what it is and what it does. 
and all this stuff gets a bath afterwards. And then, I know y'all know I love Betty Boop, but I can't keep all the Betty Boop. So this is gonna definitely be for sale. And it's one of those 70s resin Betty Boop clocks. Now this might be handmade. I don't know because it's got writing on the back here. So it may have been some sort of a kit, but I thought that was cute. We'll put some batteries in it, see if she works. Gotta love a little Betty Boop. I'm gonna set you so you don't break there. Okay. And I did get other items from that vendor, but I'll show you when I get to them. So next I picked up this beautiful mirror. Now I cannot remember for the life of me what they told me it was. I know she said it was something silver. It sounds like a pot metal to me, but I could have sworn she said it was like silver. It might be that, um, oh gosh, what is it called? When it's like the triple plated, I think it's silver plate. But what I'm on the hunt for guys, and if you have any good resources or you've bought them, I want to get a silver testing kit so I can test and actually know what the different silver is because this looks like it's a high quality. I did pay up, I paid $30 for this. But look at the beautiful, look at the beautiful face on there. And it's monogrammed. I would still list this for like 100 on eBay and Etsy and see what happens. I have another one with Cupid on there right now that's listed at 90, but I thought the lady was lovely. And I just wish I remember what they told me what type of silver it was. Because it feels like the pot metal, like, you know, it's like a formed. And it is monogrammed, but it is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it's a little muted. It's a little flat in color, but it has just a slight sheen. So I did pay up for that, but I knew that I could flip it for a good price. Now I have had the vanity powder dish that goes with this. This is an Avon Cameo vanity mirror. Very cute, very different. I've had the little amber powder dish that goes with it that you can keep your powder in. So I think I paid five for this. I probably asked 10 to 15, 10 in a live sale. So, and it does say Avon, but I couldn't pass it up. Actually, what was exciting with some of these items is one of my favorite vendors, um, his wife was there with a table. So I was so excited because I hadn't seen them in so long to be able to buy from them again. So then I also picked up from that same vendor. I think these were $4. Now I do have one of these already listed in my eBay and Etsy shop that I may take down and photograph with these to make a complete family but it is a, scent, a set of Redware skunks, if I can get the mama out. So you have the mama and she is Redware and the two little babies. Now, like I said, I do have another large one. So I'm thinking I'm going to take that down and relist these as a set of four and that that might do better. I paid four for these. They are marked Japan. I, I don't remember what I paid for the other one because I think I bought it from a friend in a live sale, but then I'm now I'm thinning out. I was collecting Redware animals. Now I'm just collecting Redware cats and it has to be very specific. So I'm selling off some of my collections this year. So I don't know. I may put the whole set at 20 to 25 and see what happens because there's four of them and these are in pretty nice condition. So we got those kiddos. And then this does have some damage, but I still thought this was super cute. I don't think the music works. 1985 Toy Stalgia, or maybe you wind it up and it moves. Okay, so it has been overwound, but it's a little vintage fire truck bank. The music box, whatever this is, does not work anymore. It does have some damage on the corner, but it does have the cork, 1985. So this could go in my eBay and Etsy shop. And someone who just likes Fireman Nostalgia, this would be super cute. I don't remember now what I paid for this. I might've paid six. I think I paid five or six because of the damage, but I just thought it was really cute. 
So I picked that up because I do have a vintage bank section. And then I got some brooches, folks. We've got some jewelry. And this one's actually marked something. I have to get my little, there are actually several of them are marked. So these were a dollar each. This is a metal. It's like a copper metal, but look at the cat. I thought that was very cool and very funky. I think I'm gonna save these for some drop sales for you guys, cause I really like the look of it. And it's just got your typical C clasp on the back. Let me make sure it works. And as you're watching this, if there's stuff you guys like you're interested in, <laughs> excuse me, feel free to email me after this, sidestreetmarketsales at gmail.com because everything's for sale. I don't think there's anything I'm keeping for me yet. So everything is available for sale. If you're interested, just message me and we can talk about pricing. So there's that cat one. This one, Sarah, it looks like it says Sarah Co Coventry. This is a Sarah Coventry. But it can also, actually, I don't know if it's broken on the top, but look at this. Can you guys see those stones? There we go. Now it has this hook on the back, but it doesn't fully, so I mean, it might sit on a chain, but I'd be worried it might, you know, come off. But it's these really pretty, I wish I could, there we go. There we go. It's like a gold tone with these blue and uh, speckled gold stones, like a faux turquoise and a faux pearl, kind of like your goldish, bra goldish brass color. Definitely love that one. And then this one screams like 80s to me, and I can't read the name on it. Something craft, ultra craft, ultra craft. So I don't know, but look how cool this one is. So these hang by a chain and it's a star. I mean, can you say shoulder pads in 80s? I'm just saying. Loved, loved, loved this one. So I'm excited to sell those guys to you because I think those are super fun. Okay. And then we have one cart left to go, guys. And I think I'm just gonna pull and throw this stuff. So you know me and I love squirrels. I'm not planning to keep this for me. Gosh, I don't even know how much I paid for it now, but it is a squirrel cross stitch in a diamond pattern. So you would just kind of fold these over to make it into a pillow or whatever you wanted, a wall hanging. The lady said she had planned to like make it and give it to a granddaughter, but by the time she got done, the granddaughter was like a teenager. <laughs> So I just, you know, I love squirrels and I thought it was super cute. So I figured I'd bring that to you guys. <clears throat> Let's see, we'll go down to the bottom shelf. Then for my doggy people, I got some dogs. This one I realized after I bought it has some paint loss on the back corner. You can see there and there, it needs a little touch up. I may try to touch it up a little bit, but other than that, this, I think it's a Cocker Spaniel, is in perfect condition. Oh, I'm sorry. There's one more spot on the back in the brown. Now, this is a Japan piece and I've seen this symbol before. I just don't remember. It's a clover in, it's a three leaf clover inside of a, uh, like one of those, oh gosh, the Greek crowns. It says $10, that's not what I paid for it, but look how cute and it's big it's like the size of my head so yeah i had to pick that up because these bigger ones do well for me online but you know if anyone here is interested you're more than welcome to message me then i picked up this cool mid-century horse piece it's a horse up on its legs hind legs carved wood i sold one like this before that one was actually ceramic and had some damage. Just making sure, you no, know, nope, it's all there. Just a really nice figural uh, mid-century style piece. Beautiful wood. OK, 
Okay. Then I picked up some snack trays and these usually have a little cup that come with them, but she did not have the cup, but they are amber and they are pigs and I have two of them. And I still thought they were super sweet, even though they didn't have their little teacup that goes with them. Like I've seen just the plain purple ones, but the animal one, I thought would be a little bit better for resale. It's a little bit more unique, I think. So I grabbed those. I need some water, guys. Whew. Okay. I found some planters. Now this one, I can't remember. I looked up if it's Royal Copley or Shawnee. Um, but I know I found it. I feel like it might be Royal Copley with the airbrushing finish. Or you know what? It could also be American Bisque. It could be any one of those three. So there's just a little chipping right here. And there's a little ding in the glaze right here. But I thought this tuxedo kitty was super cute and needed to come home with me. And this one too looks like Shawnee or American Bisque. Just a little planter. So I picked up these two kitty cats. I was happy to find those. I'm tempted to keep the tuxedo one for me, but I really, I just don't have a place for it. And I don't trust putting it outside where I live because we get some high winds that come through our neighborhood. And yeah. So this is something different I hadn't found before. This is, you know what? I don't even know if it's brass. This might be a cast metal little spaniel. It is heavy and it's got this kind of brown with like a little bit of that blue patina. I thought it was brass, but this might be a cast bronze piece. It's pretty heavy. So I'm gonna have to look into that and try to figure that out. But I had not seen a dog like that before in this material. Okay. Next up, I picked up some vintage cigarette um, stuff. There's two of them. One's in a box, one is not. So I'll just, you know, we'll just do it that way. But it is the hard pack. It is the vintage camel cigarette thermometer. I got these for $2 each and I think they work. I'm gonna test them, you know. They're by Morco USA. Now I'm getting a tickle, guys, hold on. <coughs> We're almost through. Whew. And it says copyright RJRTC, made in USA 31. So yeah, I picked up two of those. Um, the camel, Vintage Camel cigarette advertisements are all over the place on eBay. I could not find any thermometers. So I'm gonna have to do some more digging, maybe use Worth Point to figure it out. But I have two of them and one in box. I don't know if it belongs to that box, but um, the lady sold it to me with the box. I actually got these from the same person I got the Snoopies from. So she had some good stuff. Okay, then I'm getting into vintage hardware because it's easy to sell. And especially does well on eBay and Etsy, I feel, because, you know, that's where people are looking for accents. So this whole thing was $3. And it's just some brass handles. They are marked um, 1976 can, RD 1976. So they're from the 70s. Some of them have their original screws with them. Some of them do not. But for $3, you know... I'll either sell them as a set or I'll, I'll piece them out where people can buy them per handle. And then these actually, some of them say Japan, they're ceramic door pulls. And some of the blue ones actually say Japan on them. So they're probably like a porcelain. See, it says Japan. And the whole bag was $10. Now the pink ones do not say Japan. So they are just a rose ceramic, but I'll piece those out as well and sell them in sets. So it was $10 and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 10, 11, 12. I got 30 for $10. So that's, that's, that's pretty good. So I like to look for this sort of stuff at the flea market. It does require a little cleanup, a little soaking, but you know, it's something different to list. Okay. 
And then I was on a phone kick. So I picked up another vintage phone because I thought this was really cool. El Monte, California, American Telecommunications Corp, El Monte, California, a com dial company, high, low, off. Because I mean, I remember growing up with these phones, like, you know, the days I, I grew up in the days before cell phones. I grew up as, you know, a uh, low speed internet came dial up came in and you couldn't use the house phone because you had dial up and then cell phones came into um, action like the flip phones when I was a teenager, but it still has like the person's original number, but I liked it because it was kind of this really cool two tone. It's a darker tan and a lighter tan. I think the back is probably discolored from being on it by a window, but very retro. I will list it on eBay and Etsy and see if anyone's interested. Look up for similar comps. I think I paid $10 for the phone. So I might have paid up a bit, but I thought it was cool. I got it from the same guy that had the hardware. And then I picked these up and they were $5 each. And what I liked is they're by the same person and they are signed by Emily Bleacher, All Natural Materials, Comac, New York, by appointment only. They're originally $25 each in their shop. And I'll sell them as a set. I'll probably list them for about 40. And they are the dried flower with the butterflies. And it's got the original on the back there. So I like those. I think that's a real butterfly. Yeah, but the center I think is a paper cut out. Nicely done and they're signed. So I'm gonna look up the artist and see if there's anything special. And then I picked this up, which I overpaid. 1970s three piece canister set, near mint $15. <laughs> so this reminded me of Lustro Wear. It is not Lustro Wear, it's not marked. But it's a really cool, nice plastic, undamaged three piece canister set. I paid 15. I may try listing it for 35 and see what happens. But it's this great green avocado green with daisies. Whoops. The pattern's only on one side. And there's three of them. Large, medium, and small. And like I said, there's no damage. There's one little ding in the plastic here. They're really clean and in really nice condition. Just some minor, you know, age scratching, which happens, but we'll see. Ideally, I would have probably wanted to pay around eight to 10 for them, but sometimes you just gotta pay up and see what happens. So a little profit is better than no profit. So we'll see how that goes. And then this is my last item, guys. And I've seen these in Goodwill and I, I had not picked them up I did this time it's the Betty Crocker Crocker recipe card library and it's got all these fun stickers on it hold on Holly's proclaiming her dad's presence because he's walking through the room so she has to announce that dad is coming because mom's in the middle of filming <laughs> so it has the original container it says Betty Crocker I don't know if the stickers were original or if someone added those afterwards but then it's filled with tons of recipes. Now I know people buy these and they piece out um, the recipes for package toppers. So I don't know. It does smell a little bit on the inside. I'm gonna need to air it out. But let's see. Seasonal favorites. Winter salad. Zucchini, cauliflorets, radishes, parsnip, onions, celery, pimento stuffed olives. Yeah, there is, there is a slight must to this that I did not realize because I was wearing a mask. That's the only problem with wearing masks nowadays, thrifting, is sometimes you get home and you don't realize stuff had an odor. Chocolate drops. So I may end up using this as package toppers and then cleaning out the canister and selling the canister as a holder. Gifts from your kitchen. I don't know, I'm gonna have to take all the cards out and wipe them down. It's got like a little thing on the inside for a return address. The hinge works nicely. 
I mean, because some people may still want family breakfast brighteners. You know, some people might want the recipes. International breakfast menus. Mexican, papaya, pineapple, bananas, baked chicken, or slightly cooked chicken. I'm sorry, sliced cooked chicken, not slightly cooked chicken. Hot tortillas, Mexican chocolate with cinnamon stick. Italian, red and green grapes, provolone, fontina, or bell something cheese, hard rolls, strong coffee, and milk. USA, sliced oranges, toasted peanut butter jelly sandwich, and hot instant cocoa. Ooh. I guess chocolate does go okay with oranges, but peanut butter and jelly with orange? No. Ew. So yeah, this just needs to be left open for a little bit to air. Some of these cards are, you know, they've got some of that lovely browning to them. Men's favorites. Oh, here we go. Man-pleasing appetizers. Pow. Two cans condensed beef broth bullion. One cup of water horseradish and dill weed. Heat all ingredients to simmering, stirring occasionally, serve hot with celery, celery swizzle sticks. Rumaki, six chicken livers, four water chestnuts, teriyaki sauce, six slices bacon cut in half and brown sugar. Cut chicken livers in half, cut each water chestnut into three pieces, Pour teriyaki sauce over chicken livers and water chestnuts in bowl. Refrigerate about four hours. Drain. Wrap a piece of chicken liver and a piece of walnut in bacon slice. Secure with wooden pick. Roll in brown sugar set over oven at broil. And then teriyaki sauce. I don't know, maybe if it was just chicken and not chicken livers. But there's that. What else are men's favorites? Let's see. Peanutty pork chops. Lamb chops with minted fruit. Fresh tomato special, burgundy beef. They have children's parties. Come for the coffee. Muffins and coffee cakes. I may end up keeping this for me and just kind of making some fun recipes, but that is it guys. We are 36 minutes in. Hope you enjoyed this haul video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I'll be back with more hauls, shop with me's, drop sales, craft videos. You never know, guys. I'll see you soon.